just as soon. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Wait, I sound like Frankie Wood. I know. I was so, singing Fat Albert. Actually. Oh, really? Do you remember Fat Albert? Yeah. Like, do you remember Fat Albert? I can't remember But you probably Albert. got it. I think Frank Wood got it from Fat Albert. I think Frank Wood got it from Fat Albert. He might have. He might have. That, that's definitely true. Um, so Patty, Patty Hi. Rosberg, hello, hello, hello. living legend of this world of music. You are. You totally are. Well, stop. So I See, have, I've decided to stop being modest. Just say I've sold like lots of records, and I'm awesome. You are. Yeah. So I just need to ask you one question, because um, I heard that when you were 15, you were in a Rod Stewart cover band. Actually, I was a little bit older than that. Okay. It was when I was 15 probably and like a half. 17 or 18, or maybe maybe even 19. Oh, really? I don't remember what age I was, but I, um, I was living in Chelsea, and we even had a violin, we had a violin player. Wow. Um, and we all had names. Who were you? I was Rod. Oh! <laughs> I was Rod. Wow. Um, Did you have a favorite Rod Stewart song to do? Hot or? Legs. Oh. And I used to sing Hot Legs in the subway, and, and they would get the guys throwing coins. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Those were the days. Wow. So what was the first band you ever were in? Let's see. The first band I was in that I can recall, I, I played, I was a backup singer for a band called Her Herisia. Um, my were friend you Karen Atkins. then? Then I was more like 16 or 17. Okay. It was like right around When did you get your first guitar? came after her. Um, so you were seasoned. I was uh, I was seasoning myself. Right. Uh, let's see. My first guitar is the same guitar that I have now. Is that um, one? It's the Fender Strat with the flowers. Yeah. That, that was my guitar. I wow. went into Manny's and I picked it out and said, this is definitely it. Wow. There was no question. I, I saw all these other beautiful guitars on the wall, but that one just spoke, spoke to me. Yeah, I love that. Patty Rothberg. I Yay. And that's the one. And that's the one. Wow. That is the one. It's been with me all over the world. Now, has it ever broken? No, but I did leave it behind once and have to go back for it. Where? In a foreign country? In a foreign land. It might have just been like Canada or something. But so Canada? I've definitely never been to Canada. A foreign place. You went back to get it? We, I made everyone go back to get it because... Like the next day or like the same, the same day? Night? They were mad at me. Oh, so were really mad. Are people ever not mad at you, Patty? Um, I hope they're not mad at me. <laughs> I always think people know. are mad at me. I do have that problem, but you know, you have to sometimes just say it's true. Well, there's nothing you yeah. can do about it, so I mean, you know, it's life true. goes They're on. They're mad at you. You can try to, you know, calm them down and say, what did I do? And if they or don't not. Respond, or you can just ignore it. Or you can still be happy that they're in your life and yeah. blah, blah, blah. I'm happy you're in my life. Are you mad at me? No. Are you You're mad, mad at me? that I came a little late? No, you were right on time. Okay, well then nobody's got any reason to be mad at me. I'm never mad at you. I'm not mad at you. Are you? No. Are you mad? No. This no. is Jen Ed. Hi. Patty nice Rothberg. Nice so, cool. so, so Patty, yes. what's going on? Um, you've been on Oprah? I was on Oprah, but that, that show was all about my manager because it was called um, Awesome Discoveries or whatever. So it was like, I found her singing in the subway and I'm so awesome. And then I just sat there and kind of nodded. And Did you play? There was no, nothing for me to say on that show. Did you play? No. But they played my. Um, it Is was it cool. on YouTube? Like you can Google Patty no, on Oprah. It, there are a couple. You used to be able to, but they've they taken took a couple a, things down. Like they oh. took the Jay Leno segment down, which was kind of a drag. How was that being on Jay Leno? Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually drawing a caricature of Jay Leno in the green room, and he came in. He's like, "What are you doing?" And I, I wanted to surprise him by bringing it on the show, so I oh, dove over it to cover it, and he thought I was doing coke. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just um and that was I was not able to film. reveal the that no. part wasn't filmed in the green No, room. that was just between me and Jay. That's it all no, it's always the best stuff. Uh, he's such a nice guy. He's wonderful. He was nice. Really, really cool. Did you ever meet him again? No. I'd like to. <laughs> Maybe you will. Maybe on TV yeah. You might. Yeah. Yeah. That can happen. So um what song did you play when you were on Jay Leno? Inside. Of course. Yeah, that was another big Could you thing. even take a random guess of a number how many times you played that song? Um seriously, it might be in the like the like the thousands. Right. I would it's say it's gotta be somewhere in there. Or more. Or even more. I'm not good with math, so uh, But you are good in it's illustrating. A big blur. Because you did go to school for illustration. I didn't did. You? I went to Parsons School of Design for illustration. Right. Now did you know you were gonna be a rock star then? 
Absolutely not. In fact, I was sitting in a ditch playing guitar, looking at my feet, and I actually had a mild case of agoraphobia. Like, I didn't... But what was the one at Parsons? That song inside? Yeah. I wrote it in Paris when I went to Parsons, Paris. And oh, the song is like about being afraid, you know, being afraid of speaking French if it's not your perfect French, being afraid of, you know, going out, being afraid of this and that and the other. And look what happened. And then all of a sudden I'm playing for 70,000 people inside. You know, and it's, it's ironic. It Don't is. you think? Yeah, it That's, is. Just yeah, a little bit. So it's ironic. But, um, wow. So now I'm getting back to my old self. Yeah? Yeah, and I'm, I'm what creating. What do you mean, like inside? Well, I'm, I'm staying in a lot and creating. You rather look good. Than, you look very thank healthy. Thank you, really? Yeah. It must be this awesome diet I'm on. Yeah, what I is it? I just started a gluten-free, sugar-free diet. Oh, that's so funny because I it's National Animal Cracker Day. Oh, nice. and, and I said these are totally probably not vegan or gluten-free. Mm. Yeah, not really. I, don't, I mean, they could be, but I, I don't know because so uh, gluten-free is like the new black, it seems like. So popular. It is. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure everything is better for you when you take stuff out. I just started doing it. Good for you. And so for seven days, I haven't had any pizza and you or feel donuts better. or anything like well, that. Well, that's just pizza and donuts. And I can always, that's true. And I mean, <laughs> but it, you have to really watch what you eat, you know? Always. And um, it's, it's, sometimes it's hard to it's find something, especially in Grand Central Station where everything is like a big pastry puff. Yeah. And you're like, that's um, do you have any nuts? nuts. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah, fruit salad. Fruit. And there are only, there are, in my particular diet, there are only certain things you can eat. What do you mean? Strawberries are okay, but blueberries and bananas are not. Why is that? Wow. They have blueberries. It's they have some kind of potassium wackiness, or I, I don't know. This for my particular blood type, they, oh, they, they do all this stuff on you. They, yeah, they do the blood, they do the EKG, they they work you. And then they you. say, you know what? This no is blueberries, what? no bananas. Is it the letter B? I miss the blueberries. Maybe it's the letter B. Maybe B. Do you have type B blood? Um. B yeah, I love beets. I love beets. Are you allowed to eat them? Oh, <laughs> my friend here doesn't eat beets. <laughs> what else is this? With so the I know. Broccoli. Broccoli? I, I can't eat broccoli. You cannot? No, because it's got too high in, I think, carbohydrates and starches. I love broccoli. I know. We had someone on the show like who was showing a broccoli. Like, Actually, out your entire it's probably not vegan broccoli. It's got honey, it is but so. honey. Oh, really? It's a vegetable, stupid. Yeah. I would oh, argue that. I thought you said broccoli rock. Baklava. <laughs> no, baklava has gluten, I'm yeah. sure. That, yeah. yeah. Are you on a gluten-free? No, but I would be yeah. if I had a chef. Yeah. I need a chef. I, I, Don't I, we all. <laughs> that's on the top of my list. I have a chef. His name is uh, Morello. <laughs> my friend here. He I didn't mean that. that. I nice. thought you said broccoli. A good friend. Yeah, what he's your chef? Different. Well, no, but sometimes he delivers fish to my door. <laughs> this is the funniest the story. story. <laughs> Can I tell a quick story? It's yeah. so good. My I didn't read his text that he had just gone fishing and that he was leaving a cooler of fish on my front steps. So uh, my mother <laughs> went outside the door, I guess, to get the mail or whatever, and she discovered a cooler full of body parts. Well, there were fish body parts. <laughs> And it was like the Sopranos, it was so funny. And so she <laughs> she let out this little shriek, and I'm like, what's the matter? And then I, re I re remembered that he had come fishing and given me some fish. <laughs> so you can have that. I can eat that, yeah, protein, yeah, any kind of meat, fish, um, chicken. Good. Cool. Oh, yeah. It's so hard to do take a vegetarian. quick break, and then we're gonna hear you sing. Excellent. That. All right, cool. yeah. and then do you have any new skeletons to share? Um, we'll think about it. Uh, yeah, let's think about it. All right, we'll be right back. And I apologize to you in the future. I don't mean that. All right.